Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to fix Orion after you always had a patch. Anytime EA pushes updates to Ultima Online, there's a chance that the files stored on your home computer must be updated as well. So patching those files is actually a pretty simple process. First we must navigate to our UO files folder. By default in Windows, this is going to be located in your program files folder of your home directory. So we're going to go find my computer or this PC and find our home directory, which usually by default is your C drive. And there you're going to look for a folder called program files x86. And then you're looking for electronic arts. And then that should have your UO files within. So we're going to go in the UO files folder. And in here we're looking for a file that's called uopatch.exe. So it's going to be probably towards the bottom if you alphabetize the list. Right here. If you don't have file name extensions turned on, you won't see this .exe. You'll just see the word uopatch. But this is the one we're looking for. We're going to use this. And that's going to open the patcher for uo. And this should download the patch file. So I'll just give this a minute to finish. Okay, now that we're done, we don't even have to click play. We can just close this out and we can close our window here. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to open our Orion launcher. And remember that you need to be running this launcher as the administrator or else you're not gonna, it's not gonna have a right, uh, it's not gonna have right permissions. Or, uh, so you won't be able to save the settings. So. When you start the launcher, make sure you're running it as administrator. And what you want to do is you want to come up to configure client version in the top right corner here, this button called configure client version. We're going to click that and we're going to double click where it's green and it's all caps and it says from client.exe file, double click there. And we're going to get our UO files folder open again. We're looking for just the file that just says client or client.exe if you have file name extensions turned on. But by default in Windows, if you don't have these extensions, you'll just see a, f a file called client. That's the one you want. You want to double click that. You'll get this box that pops up and it says, do you play OSI? You want to say yes. And then you want to click create and you're going to get this pop up box that should say configuration saved and the location of the file. So click OK and we can X this out. And from here, we should be able to just click what profile we want to log in and launch. And we should be able to sign in. And as you can see, I'm getting signed back into the game again. So that's it. 